now i am going to execute the program to find the factorial of the n number to first before typing the program we need to create a project to create a project click on the project and click on new vision project and type the name of the project and then select the microcontroller which we going to need so the microcontroller we are going to use is lpc2148 after adding the microcontroller now let us type program to type the program we need to first create a file so click on this icon to create a file and start typing your program After typing the program, we need to save the program. To save, click on this and and type the program name and save in the extension ASM. After saving it, uh, as we can see, the color of the program changes and the blue ones are the instructions and the green ones are the registers and on the the things in the red are the data data given by us so after after saving the program we need to add this program to the source group to add the program right click on the source group and add existing files to the source group and type type the program name and click on add after adding we can see that the second program is added to the source group now we need to compile compile the program to see if there are any errors as we can see there are zero errors and zero warnings after compiling we need to build the program and next we need to execute to execute the program we need to click on start slash stop debug session button so after clicking that will be displayed with this window and here we are going to execute the program step by step so as we can see in the first step 
as we are finding the factorial of the 3 the 3 is stored in the register or not and the next step as we as we are finding the factorial the numbers should be 3 into 2 into 1 right so the in the next step the 3 is reduced by 1 and the value is stored in r1 registers that is 2 in the next step we are going to multiply r0 and r1 and store the result in r0 so as we can see r0 and r1 are multiplied and the result is 6 which is stored in r0 so in the next step we are going to reduce the r1 value so it becomes 1 so in the next step we are again multiplying it so 6 multiplied with 1 is 6 so r0 value doesn't change and again we are decrementing the r1 so it becomes 0 so after this we need to continue this until r1 becomes 0 so as the r1 has become 0 the program stops and the factorial of 3 is stored in r0 register that is 6 thank you